Welcome YouTube, this is the Velvet Locks with another video and in this video I will be doing a home spa, okay? This is the day that I will be taking that extra needed beauty spa for my skin. Now, now normally what I would do is I would have my facial steamer with me but I don't know what I did with it. But you can do this even without a facial steamer. Very simple. Just get a pot. Fill it with some water, boil it, and that's all you need. So you don't have to invest in all those expensive facial steamers and all of that. Just go in your kitchen, grab a big pot, boil it until it's nice and steamy, and you're in business. Next, you're going to need a towel, all right? So what I did already to prepare for this was I've already washed my face. Now I'm going to open my pores and clean it. So. What you're gonna do is just simply just take your towel, put it over your head, and put your face over your pot, over your pot, not too close where the steam will scorch you, but enough so that you feel the, the steam on your face, you know, opening your pores. And I would do this for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So let's get started. Yes, you will be very sweaty coming from underneath your facial steamer. All right, so that feels really good. And what that does is it opens your pores. Okay, and that's what you want to do. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a facial mask. Now, what I've done prior to the video was I've already mixed it. And this is my turmeric and yogurt um, facial masks. Now I made a video on the best acne treatment that you can actually make for your skin. This will combat acne. This will help to, you know, strengthen your skin. Also, it can also help get rid of facial hairs if you use it often enough. So you have to be very careful where you place this. So I pre-mixed it. It's turmeric powder and some plain yogurt. And what you're going to do is just Slather this all over your face. Now I made too much. All right. And what I also did was I added in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Because apple cider vinegar and turmeric works really wonder wonders for your skin and helping with acne. Oops. And other facial ailments. All right. And you're just going to put this on generously. Now I'm using one of my face brushes, my beauty brushes, makeup brushes. So you can use anything that you have that will help you to spread this on properly. Now, if you want to know exactly how to mix this, I'm going to also, oops. Now, it's not going to take the hair off your face right away, so don't worry if you get it on your eyebrows. But try to avoid getting it on any areas that you do not want skin to, I mean, your um, hair to not grow. So avoid your hairlines, avoid your eyebrows. And for you men, avoid your mustache and bearded areas if you're not trying to lose the hair in that area. But this is wonderful. Now the only thing with the turmeric powder is that afterwards it kind of leaves you with a yellow glowy skin. <laughs> but that's easy to get rid of as well because all you got to do is use your astringent as well as wash your skin and it will get rid of that too. All right, you guys. So that's it. You slather it on your skin and you let it dry. And now it should take maybe 10 to 20 minutes to dry. So you wait for it to dry solid, all right? So we're just gonna sit here and wait for this thing to dry. All right, so I'm going to play on my phone, maybe go on YouTube, see what's all's going on. All right, I'll be back in about 10, 30 minutes. All 
right you guys so now it's dried and it's ready for me to wash off so I will be back after I wash this off my face and what you do is you can loosen it up with a warm rag and then after you loosen up the thickness of the powder then you can rinse and wash your skin off easily so I'll be right back all right you guys so I just finished rinsing off the turmeric powder but this time I did not get that yellowish color which is good because the turmeric will definitely leave you looking a little yellow so now what I'm gonna do on this beautiful day of taking good care of my skin is I'm gonna use this product that I got from my Beautycon box and it's the Kate Somerville exfoliating cream and I showed this on the video of my unboxing my Beautycon I don't know if I uploaded that video yet but this is what came in there and it smells so good and herbally. It smells really good. Okay, and it's considered the Hollywood's two minute facial. We'll try. So I'm just gonna put a little of that on my skin. And it's an exfoliating cream. Oh, it does feel wonderful. I don't know if I must have used too much already. And this will also help to get rid of whatever yellowy you know stains you may have on your skin from the turmeric but this is like a mentholy Ooh, I'm trying to pinpoint the smell I don't know if there's tea tree in here but I'm gonna list the ingredients of this down it really smells great and it feels good and it's definitely you can feel it exfoliating your skin so I'm going to get upstairs, get some water to this, loosen it up a little something something, and then rinse it off and come back. See you soon. Okay you guys, so I'm back and I tell you this Kate's uh, Somerville exfoliating cream, I love it. It feels really good, it's menthol-ish, your skin feels great and smooth and soft afterwards. Alright, so after exfoliating your skin, now it's time for a toner. Now I have two wonderful toner ideas for you that you can use and one of them is rose water. Okay, excuse my bottle but this is my rose water or you can make a solution with your apple cider vinegar or regular apple cider vinegar. It doesn't have to be the Bragg's brand but this is organic. Alright, so what you can do as a toner is either mix half of rose water and water or half water and half your apple cider vinegar. So today I think I'm going to use, since I've used some apple cider vinegar in my um, facial mask, I'm gonna do the rose water because the benefits of rose water on your skin is definitely worth using it. I'm gonna list all the benefits down below. So you can put this solution in any um, pump or spray bottle and you use your cotton balls and what I'm gonna do ooh, is put this all over my face just to soothe it and probably also to get off whatever other little ailments may be on there debris from the turmeric powder but it's really good it's soothing it's great for a lot of different things see I still have turmeric on my skin usually in the hairline and it smells great. It smells so good. So florally. All right. Yes. So yes, you should always use a toner on your skin after washing your skin. It gets rid of ev all the extra um, leftover debris that you may still have on your face. Okay. And the best way to wash your skin as well as use any type of pout, um, oils, creams, moisturizers, toners, the best thing to do for your skin so that you will not create wrinkles is to always wipe or to, to, to rub in your creams, always use an upward motion, pulling the skin upward and out. All right, never pull your skin down like this. Oh, I cringe every time I see people doing that. You will have old looking skin very fast. So always use motions going upward against gravity and out, okay? Upward and out. Okay. 
okay and be very gentle around your eye area I see so many people rubbing that area so harshly you're gonna have crow feet wrinkles everything in no time if you do not take proper precaution in how you care for your skin so upward and out motions up and out you're going against gravity okay up and out your nose of course goes downward but your skin around should always go up and out okay so for those of you always asking me making comments about my youthful looking skin this is probably because I've been doing this since I was a little girl okay I've always been into skincare and always look for ways of trying not to age <laughs> even at a young age I don't know why but that's what I've always done and that helps my skin to stay more mm, in tone so yeah you're gonna have a lot of yellow leftovers on your skin when you use the turmeric powder so it's always best to follow back after washing your face with a toner so yes we finished with our toner now I just feel like a little extra you know me I'm always doing the most now what you can do after this step is just moisturize your skin and you're good but instead of the turmeric toner what you could have also done was use a facial mask like so it comes in a little packs and this one I got from my Beautycon box I wanted to use it today I think I am still going to use my face mask okay and this is one with collagen and avocado Ooh. and it's saturated I mean saturated and it seems like it's already in a mask form so all you gotta do is just plop it on your face and leave it on oh my gosh it reminds me of Jason OMG Alright, let's try it now. Mmm. And it's so, so cool and soothing. I swear I look like Michael Myers from Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are really great. And I tell you, you can actually make this into a hack. Oh, yes. This is really, really soothing and therapeutic. I like this. So what I'm going to do now is sit here and figure out, okay, this says start with clean, dry skin. Remove the fiber mask from the package. On either side, maybe gently applied to face. Soothe, smooth with finger. So that it may adapt perfectly fitting evenly around your eyes nose and mouth and you leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes so this is like a final step and this is really good because you don't have to wash this off which is even better so after all of I've done so far the final resort is this wonderful botanical fiber facial mask and it's made with avocado and collagen it's supposed to diminish the appearances of fine lines so this is a wonderful product for us ladies of a certain age and we're trying to keep that young looking skin much more longer when well, this is wonderful because it's it has it's paraben free gluten free and no GMOs all right and it's made with natural extracts so it's extracted one of uh, from the, the extracts of course is from the, the avocado all right and yes includes botanical extracts uh, biodegradable fibers so, so this is a wonderful last and final step to your facials and you just leave it on you know sit and watch TV read a book catch up on some stuff drink some tea and 15 minutes to 20 minutes later you just wipe it off so I'm just gonna sit here and chill and relax for another 15 20 minutes and then I'll come back afterwards mm -hmm. all right you guys so I am back it's 20 minutes later oh wow and I still see some yellow from the turmeric on here so yes like I mentioned that turmeric powder will definitely leave 
some yellow on your skin but if you're not going anywhere right away that's okay so I'm taking off the mask now and I have lots of fluid still on my skin this stuff really feels good and it says you just wipe it off all right gently wipe that off and then they say you follow up with your moisturizer oh really feels good and I did get this in my beauty con box but I do see like stores in my area like those general stores that sell just about everything they have those in there too so you might want to check out the um, either at your local Walmart or just your regular beauty supply store they have these type of exfoliating um, beauty masks as well next I'm gonna follow up with my Garnier okay my Garnier ultra lift anti wrinkle firming moisturizer and I use this on my skin every day after I use my Peter Thomas Roth uh, beauty system I don't have a moisturizer yet from them so but I do like the uh, Garnier brand it's for age you know anti-aging as well as the Peter Thomas Roth they have that as well but this is more economical and affordable because Peter is no joke <laughs> okay and like I mentioned to you before when applying your any type of facial creams always apply it going upward strokes always going back your, your skin should always be in a backward upward motion like that even when applying your creams same thing with your forehead up and out up and out and this way and around your eyes should always be done by the pads of your fingers very gentle okay and that's it and your face will love you so that's my home spa for the day my skin feels so alive and so brand new I noticed I got one little casualty right here I don't know where that one came from haven't seen that in a while mm. <laughs> But yes, so thank you so much you guys for joining me on my home spa, giving your face some love, easy ways for you to take care of your skin, fast and easy, it's in your kitchen, just get a pot with some water to steam your skin, your skin will love you, it helps, steaming helps to firm it up, so it's always good to do that once a week, have that beautiful, give your skin some beauty love day, uh, steam your skin, it's really good, it's healthy for you, and it helps with that anti-aging, mm-hmm. Next I followed up with my turmeric powder mask, and that is also a wonderful, healthy benefits for your skin, as well as combating that aging process, okay? The next step I did was my Kate Somerville exfoliating cream, and you can use any type of cream to exfoliate your skin whatever you use to exfoliate your skin you can use that on your next uh, step but I used what I had which was this kit exfoliating cream that I got in my beauty con box love it I need to find this stuff smells really good I then went in with my rose water toner and I diluted half rose water half regular water into my little pump and I used my little cotton pads and I wiped off whatever excess powder stainage that might have still been on my skin but rose water has awesome benefits I'm gonna link down at the bottom a video that I've done a study that I've done on the benefits of rose water on your skin your hair your nails it does your body good then after using my toner I then went in with my avocado collagen face mask and I got this also in my beauty con box which you can use any type of face mask I mean this stuff really really is a good treat for your skin it's soothing it's cool and it has wonderful benefits avocado is good for your skin and this collagen replacer is good for anti-aging okay I have to you know preserve what I have so everything I'm using is regarding your skin and keeping that aging process to a minimum lastly after I finished doing all of that I went in with my Garnier ultra lift and this is an anti wrinkle firming moisturizer so it's like a facelift in a bottle in a jar and I put this on and it moisturizes your skin so good it hydrates you so your skin does not feel flaky dry 
anything especially now that it's winter this stuff is great I wouldn't really use it in the summer because I have oily skin but in the winter you need that extra hydration and moisture to keep from that cold and cracking skin that you will get in this weather so yes that's what I did for my face today and it feels really good and it's good to do this once a week if if you can if not once a month at least you know give your skin some love all right so thank you so much ladies for joining me and I will see you in the next video.